What's up, what's up my heart attack? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, welcome. Today I am doing some skincare. My favorite thing, my heart and soul. I love skincare more than I love makeup. And yes, I did slap on all this makeup just so I could do this video. So I got this in the mail two days ago. I'm super stoked to open it. <laughs> it's so pretty. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Done with that. So before I bear it all, let's start with the cleanser. Let's see. Is somebody calling me? Oh my god, my agent's calling me. Well, um, <laughs> that was unexpected. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That's also why I have been not existed on here. Um, I have been actually really busy doing a lot of acting stuff. I can't really tell you exactly the things that I've been doing, but I just booked something else. So um I'm like blushing right now, I'm like, I'm so excited. Okay, let's get back to this. I'm just going to rub off my lipstick, like I always do. I'm gonna start with the cleanser, obviously, so I'm gonna wet my face. <sighs> Broke the seal there. <laughs> Don't wanna come out though. Oh, is it like a, what's, oh! So it's not something that you screw on or screw off or pop off. Break the seal here, twist it, and it's open. How convenient. I always personally really hate it when you, oops, it's closed. Your hands are wet and you're trying to like take stuff off. It's so annoying. I like the way this smells. I think a lot of people may not like this smell. Oh, it's okay, right there it goes into a ladder. Oh, I try to be really gentle and just kind of go in like small circular motions. Small circular motions? I really concentrate on my brows because I know how much product I use. It feels really clean. It actually feels pretty thick, pretty moisturizing. Ooh, I have a pimple right there. Blue, red, titanium dioxide, and yellow. But I personally don't like color. No. I just don't see the point. If you don't need the fragrance, why? Maybe you have wanting to do like a pleasant spa experience. Uh, I'm gonna wash this off. I've been like talking. For me personally, like I don't care. Like if it's good skincare, I want to use it for the skincare, not because it smells nice, not because it looks pretty, but because it works. I tried to rinse this off. The cabra is actually really hard. Patrick Star made this look so easy. I'm not sure if I got the makeup off. I can see myself in the mirror. It looks like it's it's pretty off. Um, I've got some makeup residue in my eyes. I can use a little bit. I think that's actually way too much for my eyes. Okay, just rubbing that between my fingers. I'm just gonna gently, gently. kind of rub. I know this is like kind of like I know. This is actually pretty moisturizing. Oh, I think that worked. Oh, sometimes when you do what I just did with your eyes on other products, it doesn't come off all the way. So thanks, Fenty. I appreciate that. I like to tap myself a little bit like this, air dry the rest of the way. As I'm doing this, um, I'm gonna talk about how I felt the product performed. It felt very hydrating. Like I said, fragrance, uh, don't care for it. The coloring, uh, don't care for it. Okay. I feel like I could have used a lot less product, but this thing just comes out so easily. It's got like a thick, gooey consistency uh, when it first comes out, but then it just kind of melts into butter, butter, butter. I like my skin to be damp not dry. When you have a little bit of moisture, that water on your face, it helps to absorb the rest of the product. This is uh, the Pore Refining Toner Serum, which I was like really confused about the toner. Oh, this component has the same thing. Okay, so I twisted it open and then it's got the little sticker up here because that I love this packaging. It's not just pretty, it's actually functional and it makes freaking sense. I'm sick of having to roll off caps or pop caps off or twist them on. My hands are wet, like I don't wanna do all that extra stuff. I love this, this is such an innovative idea, I think. I haven't seen any other packaging that has this type of component. Okay, so I was saying that I'm a little confused on how it's a toner and a serum. Maybe it's a toner, but in the essence of a serum, meaning like it's like formulated more of like a serum. So I personally don't use toners. Blah. I use toners, hold on. I personally don't use cotton pads for toners or anything that needs something extra. I think your fingers and like doing this whole little thing is more than enough. Is it open? No, it's open, okay. So it does have a little bit of coloring in it, aside from the fragrance, it's got red 33. It does have the consistency of a serum. It feels very thin, but very hydrating. Hmm. I can really smell the fragrance. Okay, it's a little strong, but okay, you know. 
Mmm, a little bit goes a long way. Ooh, I like this. This feels good. Yeah, you have to squeeze it for it to come out. Okay, I think that's probably more than enough. I feel like when products are using fragrance, they're masking whatever ingredients they're using. It's a wee bit too strong for my taste. This isn't always just gonna be sitting nice and pretty on your desk, right? You're gonna travel and you're gonna go places. You're getting new product, but then it's getting con getting contaminated with germs and bacteria and all that stuff. It's just something to be aware about. Uh, I'm gonna do my neck too. Why am I doing that? It doesn't come out like that. It comes out a lot too. Like without even meaning to. It's a little tacky, which I like. I feel like it's really prepped and ready to grab onto the next thing. Moving on to what I've been really excited about is the moisturizer. Do I have it upside down? Oh, I guess I did have it upside down. That's trippy. So it stands this way. I got it. Come on. There it goes. Oh, this one's pink too. Wow. This fragrance, it's it's on there. It is definitely on there. This is how I like to spread my moisturizer. I like to get some and then put some on every little bit of my face so I know I'm getting the entire circumference. Entire circumference. Whatever else I left I need, which is my neck, decollete, a little bit of matcha RL. I put some on my forehead and now I feel like I'm having to put a little bit more just because it doesn't feel as hydrating. A lot of the ingredients that she used were from her island, her home island, which I thought was amazing. I love that. Whatever I'm putting on my face, I like to put it on my hands. I'm gonna kinda do this, and then I'll just rub the rest in. I love to take care of the skin on the back of my hands. It's just as thin as the skin on your face. And I'm gonna put a little bit in, kiss them together. The fragrance does not linger. I can't smell it anymore. So that's good. I think this moisturizer is pretty nice. It does do what it says it's gonna do. It's a good intentional moisturizer with sunscreen for during the day. Unseen sunscreen from Supergoop. I love their brands. They're cruelty free, non-comedogenic. Everybody can use it, all skin types. Anybody and everybody should be using sunscreen. If you're getting this because, oh, it's moisturizing sunscreen. Boom, done, I'm good to go. No. You're not. You don't need that much product if you're using it as a moisturizer. You need the more product if you're trying to use it as a sunscreen. That's why it's best to just get a separate sunscreen. The good thing about this sunscreen is that you're not gonna see it. Like that white cast, that's why they specifically designed it, especially for makeup users. You ever see, um, is it the NARS primer? The one that's like, it comes out looking exactly like this. That's what it reminds me of. It's got that good priming aspect of it. I'm guilty of this too. I never put sunscreen on my ears. I always do my hands because when I'm driving, my hands are on the steering wheel. Now, I am a huge fan of Drunk Elephant. They are more of a natural based band. But this is their anti-pollution sun drops. Sunshine drops kind of create a barrier on your skin. So that way it's free from pollution, the stuff that's in the air, and it comes out very bronzy darling. Oh my gosh. And I try not to put too much of this one on. A little bit goes a long way. And I'm not trying to look a different color than what I actually am. I'm just trying to get like a nice little, little bronze situation going. I wanna try the Fenty What It Do Refreshing Spray. I do feel very hydrated. Um, my skin doesn't feel tight. I'm just gonna shake this baby up. Ready? Oh, well that is pleasant. I wanna keep doing it because it's so pleasant. I usually don't use that word, but this is really pleasant. Gosh, it feels like I didn't even put anything on. Ooh, my, I'm looking in the mirror. I definitely have stuff on. And I like the smell. I don't mind the smell at all. I know it's got fragrance in it, but um, I don't know. I don't mind it at all. I think I'm gonna give it an hour. 3.40, I'll be back. Two hour. Time skin relatively looks the same so far. I do feel like my forehead's a little bit oily, which I feel like I was expecting that somehow. Put a little bit more of the moisturizer on my forehead, so maybe that has a little bit something to do with it. I don't know, I think I'm gonna continue to use it to see how it functions fully. But for sure, planning on testing this out with makeup. I do love both of these products. Okay, well, that's pretty much it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that this was insightful. I hope that it was inter entertaining. I hope that you learned something. If you guys have any recommendations for me, please let me know in the comments. And I hope you guys are staying happy, safe, and healthy. And just know that just because you don't have a full face of makeup does not mean that you are any less beautiful. There's nothing wrong with a fresh face. And that being said, I will leave you guys with that and I will check you guys in my next video. Bye! How do 
I still have this disgusting water. Ew.